This tutorial is going to go ahead and assume that you have a player that can move. If you don't have that, go ahead and look at my other tutorial for 2D movement. It should look something like this in the end. Alright, first things first, you're going to want to import your sprites that you're going to use. I made these myself, but you can find plenty of free sprites on itch.io. So you're going to want to drag those to your texture icon. Right now I turned off the filter because these are pixel art sprites. If you're dealing with pixel art, you're going to want to turn the filter off as well, but otherwise you're going to be fine. Running the game, it looks like that. It's It obviously doesn't look good, so we're going to want to add some animations. First things first, you're going to adjust the H frames to this, that stands for horizontal frames. You know you do it right if in the end they don't move at all once you adjust the frame. Alright, now that that's done, go ahead and go to your player and add an animation player to him. We're going to make a new animation, go ahead and call it idle, and add your idle sprite uh, frames to it. Mine are the first two, you add them by clicking the key icon. You change the sprite value and then click on the key icon, because it's a keyframe. And just like that, if we loop it and play, you'll see it is in fact working. We're going to stop that, we're also going to want a running animation. So make a new animation, name it run, and then add your run sprites from your sprite sheet. These ones are going to be a bit faster, so I'm going to do them every 0.1 seconds. Now I have seven sprites here, but the animation is still only one second long. So you'll see when I loop it and play it, it looks weird because the last sprite is being held for 0.3 seconds instead of 0.1. So I adjust the value to be 0.7. That way it loops correctly and looks smooth. All right, so those are our animations. Now we need to add them in the code. So we need to say when we're moving, play these animations. So basically if right, play the run animation. We're also going to do the same thing for left because either one you press, you're going to want to use the run animation. And then else, we're going to want to do our idle animation where he's just kind of sitting there and breathing. Now it does say that this, uh, it's giving us an error basically because we haven't declared what animation is. So we need to go to the top and declare that our animation variable stands for our animation player that is attached to our player node. Once we do this, the error should go away. And we can run it, and it works perfectly. So we'll see it is running when I'm clicking the left or right button. However, even if I click the left button, it still only runs to the right. The sprite doesn't move. So the reason this is, is because our sprites, we only, or I only, drew them facing one direction. I didn't draw them facing the left direction for running. So we need to code that in, and it's super easy. Basically, you're just saying, uh, if you're pressing right and you're going right, don't flip the sprite sheet, right? Because it's already running right on the sprite sheet. However, if we're going left, we do want to flip that sprite sheet. And so we want to set the sprite.flipH to be true. Flip H stands for flip horizontal. Then we run it, and now it's a little small, sorry, but now if we're running right, it plays the right animation. If we're running left, it flips the sprite and makes it look like he's running left. And if we're not doing either, it'll play the idle animation. So yeah, that's it.